So in 67, they just, they have this, and they want us to find only the term containing b to the 6. Now we know we could write out this whole mess, right, and just find the term that has b to the 6. But we don't really want to do that. We, we want to narrow in on this particular term if we can to save us some time. So we notice when we set them up, all of them have, you know, this first guy raised to some power and then the second guy raised to some power. So my term is going to have a raised to some power and b squared raised to some power. If I want my term to have b, b to the 6, then that's going to have to be b squared cubed. So I've got that thing. And now I notice another pattern. With this one I already set up, I notice that if I add these exponents, I always get 5. I always get whatever that is. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, and so on. So now I know if this guy's a 3, this guy has to add to 10. So that guy must be a 7. Happiness. Now to figure out this c over here, I know it's going to be 10c something. And turns out I can add, actually either drop either this guy or that guy down there because it was nice and symmetric. Um, you'll see in the one that we did, it always is matching this number here. So I'm going to drop the 3 there. But you could have dropped the 7 just the same. It would have been the same. So we have our setup. All we have to do is figure out what this 10c3 is. So I'm going to go down here, say 10c3 is going to be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial over an extra 3 factorial. Start to write this guy out. I have 10 times 9 times 8. And I notice the 7 factorial will cancel out with the 7 factorial down there. But I still have a 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1. Everything on the bottom will end up canceling. 3 divided by 3 divided by 2. And I just have 10 times 3 times 4 times 7, which should give me something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something I don't have here. Do you need to multiply by 7? Uh, oh, right, the 7 canceled. You're right. So just 10 times 3 times 4. Huh, so 120. Much easier. Cool. So you should just have 120 a to the 7th, b to the 6th, and that is the term containing b to the 6th. Thanks.